What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, my name is Israel, thank you for tuning in. Before we get started today, man, make sure you hit that subscribe button, bro. Come on. Alright guys, CEI. Today, the market tanked, died, completely garbage. We are up about 18% right now. So, it was a great freaking day. Now, there was crazy volume today. Okay, so I want to talk about this. I want to make this video because I know a lot of people got faked out today and it sucks. And a lot of people also were, you know, probably afraid of buying dips. So let's talk about it. Okay, right off the gate, like it's been doing for the past few days, ripped, ripped. Volatility right now, it was expected, guys. You got this sticker that is a lot of retail. A lot of, you know, me and you guys, a lot of retail here, breaking all-time highs, or let's call it just the 52-week high, with massive volume. Now, what that massive volume tells you right there, right off the gate, is that there are a lot of algos in this thing. And it might not be a lot, it might be just one. A big ass fund running an algorithm on this thing. Okay, that volume today, almost 750 million shares. That is nuts. That is not retail. That is HFTs, high frequency trading. Okay, so that's why you see these massive pullbacks and right bouncing right up. Okay, let me explain this to you real quick. The Agos, they can see deeper into the market that we can. Like we have level two. They can see deeper than that. They can see the shorts piling in. They can see the longs buying, okay? So there is a lot of manipulation here. Sign, the first, the first hint that manipulation was key here, and I was putting it on Twitter, and I don't know if you guys understood what I was meaning every time I said, watch out reclaim, watch out reclaim. This thing was trapping shorts on purpose and would squeeze them out. Okay, this is the first clue that tells you that there is a there is an algo, there is a big fund or something manipulating the price. One, this big ass drop. Okay, yeah, there was some profit taking and stuff, but they were probably selling this thin off, running algorithms on it to trap shorts. This washout right here, guys, that's the first clue right there. This big ass washout and how fast it reclaimed. So all these shorts are underwater like that, okay? Squeeze out, goes to VWAP, starts retracing. What is doing again? Trapping more shorts. Run into resistance of VWAP, broke the EMA, trapping a lot of shorts down here, squeeze them out. And that is why you get these big ass red candles is because the algos are running the shorts out of the game then they unload their position and start over okay start over look at the look at the volume look at this volume on this candle right here and then look at the buying volume okay so they are trapping shorts trapping shorts and squeezing them and they do the same with long bias traders too they can see you in it they start running and running and running it, bringing in the volume because they need the volume to exit their positions. And that's why you see grind, 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 knife candle. Not grind, 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 and it's all the way down in two candles. This right here, guys, this is not retail, okay? This is not laid back and Mr. Zach Morris selling their shares. This is an algorithm. This is price manipulation, okay? When you see all this grind, 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 dump, grind, 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 dump, that is an algorithm. What are they doing? They trapping shorts on the way down on the weakness as they exit their position, and then they start grinding the price back up, bringing in the volume as it goes up, breaking levels. Okay, you are breaking levels here. So all these technical formations, breaking levels and stuff like that, they use in that to bring in the volume because you got a lot of momentum traders and a lot of people looking for these levels to be broken. 
And once they break, the volume gets real nice. Dump. Look at the selling candle right here. Dump. Same again. Below VWAP, drop below VWAP, drop below VWAP, drop below VWAP. This right here, they are trapping shorts to rinse and repeat. Okay? So they are doing this. This is not retail. This is not, you know, normal trading. This is not the shorts from Twitter. No, this is an algorithm, a fund, a hedge fund, whatever you want to call it, running the stock. When you see this volume and you see this action, this shop, these massive knife candles, that is being manipulated. And one thing that I want to ask you, let me know in the comments or let me know on Twitter when I post the video, in the comments, if you guys actually look at level two or even have access to level two. And by level two in Thinkorswim is this right here, okay? Let me know in the comments because I am very interested to know if you guys even look at the level two or if you have access to it, okay? And then guys, a lot of people, and, and this is just the psychology of it, right? Which is crazy. But uh, one thing about trading is very, very, very counterintuitive. Something that I notice in this area, right? Right here, right here, which is it's borderline comical. I get the DMs of people asking me, and it's not personal to any of you, there was a lot of DMs asking me, do you think it's too late to get in? Do you think it's too late to get in? But once it drops down here, nobody wants to touch this thing. And I get it, I get it, it's counterintuitive, right? Your brain is gonna make you want to buy as it's going up. Your brain doesn't want it to, doesn't want you to buy it when it's going down, but that's when you have to flip that switch in your brain. If not, you are gonna continue to buy the tops and probably get faked out on these moves because you don't want to buy a 330 and have it almost down a whole point 15 minutes later. So that's why you get faked out. You just have to flip that switch in your mind that you have to buy when it's ugly, okay? Buy on red candles. This right here was a golden opportunity, guys. Like, come on now, that drop was stupid. That drop was stupid. But I, I didn't get any, any DMs when it was that low. I had orders, I got orders filled in the 280, okay? I let it bounce, I let it bounce a little bit. I filled another order. I filled an order right here at the open because I posted the picture of the orders on Twitter. I had two, one at 275 and one at 280. The 280 got filled, worked green right away. And then after this massive drop, I wasn't even paying attention. I opened my phone and I was like, whoa, okay. And I filled another order at 280 again. And right now, as you see, it's working perfect. But yeah, guys, you have to flip that switch in your brain. I, I understand that it's very counterintuitive, especially if you are a newer guy. But that's the way you have to do it. You don't want to buy it when it's ripping. You want to buy it when it's pulling back. And believe me, it's going to pull back. Okay? I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell nobody to buy up here. If you send me a DM telling me, asking me if you should buy it and it was running, I probably told you to wait for a pullback. I know I told a couple guys on DATS to wait for a pullback when it was at like 14. I don't even know what it is right now. When it was at like 14, in the 1450s, I was telling... A few guys that were DMing me that wait for a pullback. The pullback is, is going to happen, guys. Things don't just go straight up. The pullback is going to happen. All right. So now when it comes to price target, on my last video, I said 350 plus. We hit 344 today. I'm keeping my target right now at 350. And over 350, like I said and I mentioned before, I'm going on 50 cent increments. So once we hit and we base at 350, my target is 4. And again, these targets are just to, they're just like little milestones. I am not selling. I am not saying that I'm selling. I didn't sell any shares today. And you can call me stupid. Okay, I got my plan. You follow your plan. But uh, my target, my price targets doesn't mean what I'm selling. Okay. I want, it, I want to see at least five before I start considering. Unless I see some sketchy action, some weird news. Knock on wood. 
I, I'm, I'm trying to hold for at least five because I know this thing got the juice on it. There was a lot of bears to coming out today talking about head and shoulders and this and that. And they had to, you know, swallow the words because they were stupid. So, again, be mindful about like who you listen to because there's a lot of people talking mad shit right now because they're jealous. That's what it is, guys. A lot of us got here under a dollar. I mean, a couple a couple weeks ago, it was it was cool to say I got in at fifty cents. But right now, if you got if you got in at ninety cents, you are still golden, baby. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of jealousy and a lot of shady stuff, and people hate on Zach because he has a shit ton of money, and people hate on laid back because he's laid back. Motherfucker, he's all day, spent all day in the pool. A lot of people want to do that, so they are gonna get hate. So don't you know? Do you? But hey, man. Be, be smart to about like, who you listen to. And that's all I got, guys. I hope you have a great night. Hope we kill it tomorrow again. Again, be ready for pullbacks. It's normal. Market was dumping today, and we are up almost 20%. So that's all I got to say, baby. I will see you guys around. Peace.